topic that is uh, AWS ECS elastic container service. OK, it's pretty easy because they have launched a new service called as Fargate. But let's go through the basics uh, like oh, like to go and configure elastic container services. We have to go through some uh, prerequisites. So let's go through some of the prerequisites. Uh, you can go back. OK, so the prerequisites for uh, AWS, what I have taken care is uh, I have already installed in this particular system AWS CLI. I downloaded, I install it. I think you already know like how to download and install AWS CLI. Second point, as well as during the configuration of AWS CLI, I provided access key and a secret key, generated access key and secret key, and provided AWS config. I've already gone through that one. The Docker basically software, which I log into Docker website and download are the basic one. All the prerequisites for the Docker has been already taken care of. Prerequisite of installation. The fourth point, I went and downloaded the PowerShell uh, toolkit, which is required AWS PowerShell toolkit. I think I can show back like basically this is a Docker website where you can download the software. OK, and as well as I went into AWS PowerShell tool and I downloaded OK, the software I installed it. OK, these are the prerequisites I've done. Now what how, what should I do for the uh, basically uh, to go for ECS. So just go back and let's go and click on ECS Elastic Container Services. The first important point what you need to do is you need to go and create okay, a repository. Repository basically. So when you go and click on a repository, so what will happen? Whatever you go and install basically the Docker containers from your local system has to be moved it into a repository. So a very simple way I would like to go create a repository, provide a repository name, check test. Okay. I simply go back and make it a check test. Very simple. I make it enable just one shot. So what happened? It went and created okay, ECR elastic okay container registry got created. So this is the place where I will go and create my own container then move my total container into this location and create with the ECR. So this is the first step we completed on that one. OK, the second step. What is the second step would be go back to your local system and what is the container where which one you want to work on it? So so what we, what I have done, I have taken a simple application. So the application I have created called as check test in this particular check test. OK. I open, I created Docker file. I am using an image called as Nginx. And in that one, we are using Alphen. It's a very small uh, okay, container tool so that the, because of the size, I've chosen this one. And what I'm clearly coming and saying, copy this index.html page, which is my, let's take an example. This is an Nginx application. Let's take an example and move it into the container in this location. A very straightforward container operator. What is the next step? So go back to your uh, uh, let, let's go back to your uh, application here and uh, maybe uh, and I'm taking this one as a windows. Click on CD. Pasted here now I just want to make sure. OK, I just want to make sure. OK, we downloaded uh, all the containers, whatever we require kind of stuff. So what we do So I just basically can go into the container uh like uh, then uh is there any so what i do is i think uh, let's go for just a minute i think okay so what we do just go back to uh, Docker and Nginx. Just go back and uh, okay. So once this is there, so this is the Nginx which I have actually am referring to. So you can, I think this is the one you can go for it. So what I think what I have done. So let's go back to this particular one and run through the series of command. Let me first do a build of this particular one. So 
in the command prompt docker space build minus t so wherever that application which i have deployed right this particular folder so i am executing this folder stating that please take care okay so it will take care so what it will do it will go pull my nginx from basically docker container pull it here download all the softwares and make sure it has completely compiled my application so the first step is done by executing a simple step to test this application whether this application is working or not very straightforward what i do here is basically i am simply executing command saying that let's take an example i'll take 9001 so i'm saying like the actual nginx port number is 80 but onto the container give me a, a, a basically a port number of 9001 is my port number which is will be working on my local system you just on one click here so what will happen the process is getting started to test whether the application is working or not http colon slash slash local host and you can click on 9001 and click on ok so when you click on this is a basic application which is displayed okay welcome to kumar aws ec2 okay, demo so very simple application that means on the local system this is working whenever you click on application it shows you the basically a logging mechanism so now my application is working it is completely built i'm just can cancelling this one so i'm ready right now so what i need to do i need to properly tag this image so this image is created built by me so i want to go for a tagging so what should i do for this kind of a tagging very very important so go back to your ecs and uh, when i refresh it i think i've already created checksum you can just click on this particular button and then click on view pull request for windows systems or for linux system what are the topics how do i do it it clears it tells me first first of all you need to log into the ecr by providing this command in powershell this is the one which is which i've already done build it i want to run a tagging mechanism as an example how do you do you can copy this one and do it in a command prompt also actually so let me drive through how i will do it right now i will open a powershell so if you go back here so simply go and click on this button aws powershell okay okay you can say powershell okay just you can go and click on this button this pop-up will execute and make sure aws cl is already installed once this is there first i need to just click on this button okay so once i go and click on it says your login is successful then what i need to do i need to do a build but actually build i have already done the build one so what i will do so copy this entire command okay copy this entire command and paste it here so if you can go back docker docker tag this is my uh, image and i'm referring to the latest one tagging one and providing a latest for this one into our, our emr i execute this one so what I have, the tagging is also done the next step what i want to do is take the image which i have developed from a local system has to move it into ecr so what i do simple command which aws has provided me just go back and click on yes docker space push provide to that one and this particular image from here when you click on it so the repository starts moving it prepares start moving the data from here to to the ecs basically e the, the registry the container registry we have discussed about right it start moves move, moving into picture so their local image which you developed in your local system is moved into ecr which is a repository for your container it takes a couple of minutes so what will happen so once this is completely done so that is the size is 496 now you can go back here close it off just click on this button and you see our application the latest tagging mission is there so so this is my image right now what should i do so let's take an example of image url we'll copy it here somewhere we'll paste it here let's take an example we'll paste it okay so what's the next step now our our image our customized image is ready now it's time to go for creating an ecs elastic container services what we do you can go back and click on this ecs elastic container services okay and click on get started 
when you get get started it will ask you the very simple one it is asking do you want to take a sample one in the next one back but actually i came up with my own customization so click on this configuration and what is a container name container name is check test what is your image url paste the image url which you have it understood right so we have this pasted here and i don't want to do anything right now here but i want to go for a mapping right now i want to specify my nginx mapping would be 80 and if you go for below configurations it will ask you a lot of questions right now i just want to go with the default one not doing anything just click on update that's it so i updated it and it is asking do you want to create any task i may go and click on this one what is my task that is called as okay check test is my task and uh, leave the task execution role don't change it anything what is your memory based on your application change this memory save the application click on next and here it says clearly the two things have been taken care third one is about the service like how many tasks you want to execute for our best practice i will go for two tasks to be executed uh, yeah security group right now i'm just providing open to every person in the world and i want to i am clearly mentioning please come up with an option called as application load balancer in this case an application load balancer created and application load balancer port number is also 80 so i go and click on save that's it that is also taken care click on next lastly it will ask you boss what is the cluster name you want to go for it cluster name i want to go for it is check test okay nothing automatically vpc id subnets everything gets created i think it will take couple of five or three two minutes but let's go for it click on next i am ready it comes and says your total fargate i am using it as something called as fargate and i click on next so that's it if you can go back my ecs elastic container service basically with my own customized image is getting created it may take basically 5 to 10 minutes of time 5 to 10 minutes in that particular uh, time let us go and explore what is meant by aws fargate it's a very good service so what is meant by aws fargate so the most important part you need to understand is the simple one fargate basically makes it easy for you to focus on building your application it is completely what is there none of your responsibility on making a server in normal docker in a kubernetes what people will do people will go and create infrastructure they will go and create servers install kubernetes configure and everything here with the help of elastic what is that uh, aws fargate it is completely first important point is it's serverless okay so let me go through a single example also i think let's go for it when you try to create an ecs it also ask you like this one do you want to create a server there are three options do you want to create so if you can go back this is what we have used powered by aws fargate so everything is taken care if some people come up and say i don't want to use fargate i want to create ec2 instance in the background so you can choose these two options this is for ec2 instance windows and this is for ec2 instance linux you want to launch a linux system in the background so what will happen when you go and launch the same cluster and everything in our background two or one ec2 instance gets created based on your configuration those are ec2 instance normal but if you go go for a fargate what is the big advantage of a fargate fargate is first of all none of your responsibility is on the infrastructure side thank you so it's a completely serverless use it launch it work it that's it a very beautiful service so let's go back and see here so if you see back uh, <clears throat> some of the things are still pending the most important part would be let's log in so it automatically go and create our application server so let's go to ec2 instance i think it will be in provision state but you can go below and you see a load balancer and one application server would be launched see are you able to see i think it is in provision state okay but as an example it's getting created as an example end to end everything is taken care by aws as an okay so even in aws okay this fargate is very beautiful uh, highly scalable as well as serverless kind of an architecture 
AWS also has multiple features. Like I think basically, you know, ECR right now, uh, Elastic Container Services, we are working on it. One of the very important one, basically, uh, EKS, basically, it's uh, powered by Google and it's basically open source. That's also very good. But I personally feel like uh, if anyone is trying to create a Kubernetes uh, kind of a thing, infrastructure is always configuration Kubernetes first time would be always a challenging one. Uh, my personal experience, that's the reason what we used to do. We used to go and create a Kubernetes in our own image, uh, uh, Ami, and then we used to take a backup in the form of a uh, image and then we launch it in multiple system. It was a little complex. I think now things were looking good basically because a lot of cloud services, it may be AWS, Azure are coming with the direct services, Azure Kubernetes, or in AWS EKS. They come and they say, they click on one button, you get all the infrastructure and there is no need to worry about infrastructure, maintenance, reliability, resiliency. All these things have taken care by cloud computing companies, right? So let's go back and check it out whether our containers are done. So let's go back and see. Yes, we are absolutely done. Load balancer and everything is created. So what's a simple one right now? This is the way we log into your application. So go back and copy our load balancer is available. Let's go back and click on uh, example is HTTP colon slash slash load balancer. And thing at port number 80, I click on it. That's it. So I think we need to wait for some time. Okay. Check it if it works here. No, I think you should wait for a few minutes. Uh, I think it's still in provisioning statement. So we have to wait for some, some time. I think it's active now. Let's try now. HTTP colon slash slash. It's costing us. Absolutely fantastic. So this is my application, are you able to see? So with the help of a load balancer, it is working fine. So right now, what I can do it as an example. Okay, so I can go and add it into, uh, basically into Route 53 and come up with my own domain name also. Okay, hope you like my video. So if you have any questions, okay, if you have any questions related to the Fargate or AWS, uh, you can just put a comments on me. If you like the video, just definitely, uh, put it uh, like your video on their YouTube. Thank you.